Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, to talk about... <laughs> I'm coughing. The Hyunkyo Summoning Campaign 2, which I don't know when it's going to be showing up. Actually, I, do, I should know. It's a week after everything, so... It's going to be com coming up pretty close. I'm releasing this video now. Uh, actually, I should check to see if they announce anything for Thanksgiving. One moment. Alright, I checked. There's nothing really up right now. We'll kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, this banner should be showing up a week after the, the one that just kind of came out, and I wanted to talk about it because it has my girl Ibuki on it, so that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel, helps out me, and I appreciate it if you do. So, let's get into it. So first of all, Ibuki, um, the other units on Ibuki's banner that are not Ibuki, Medea Lily, Charles Babbage, and Perselius von Honenheim. Uh, these two are always in every banner, so you'll get them eventually. Uh, Medea, though, that's a different story. Um, she is story locked, which is like being limited with extra hoops. It's the exact same thing, except for you don't get the benefit of being limited. Um, she has one quick, three arts, one buster. Very simple kit. Her skills are an MP charge, which can charge herself up to 150% at level 10, so you only really need her at level 4 if you only have an MP4. If you only have her at MP1, I mean. Uh, her, her second skill is Poison Proof, which this is the advanced version of it after her interlude 2. Removes the party's poison debuffs and then restores their health by 3000. Third skill, which unlocks after her first strengthening, increases one ally's healing received for one turn and increases their buff removal resistance for three turns. 100% healing up, buff resistance up 100%. Passive skills are Territory Creation B, Item Construction B. Her pen skill for the third is, I'm gonna guess, Saber. Yep, increase on attack against Saber enemies because Jason's a Saber. And then her Noble Phantasm is the Anti Thermaturgy, removes party debuffs, recovers party's HP. Uh, by 4,000 have MP level 1, and they increase the party's debuff resistance for 3 turns, 1,000, stuff like that. All good. This is a very basic unit. She has had very basic buffs, but it's okay because what she does is whenever you need a healer of any kind, whenever there's a challenge quest that is like, we just have a fuck ton of debuff stuff, or you're being poisoned, then your girl Medea is there to heal you, and that's perfectly fine. That's her one thing is to be good when you need healing and let me tell you she will give you the heals and i think that's perfectly fine i have her and i've used her sporadically over the years and every time i've ever used her i've been like oh i'm so glad i have her and i've never regretted once pulling her from the story locked when i did okeanus way back in the day so there you go that's what i feel on her now let's go on to the actual main unit here who is abuki doji Ibuki. This is a limited servant, obviously. Ibuki, which in her uh, baby form, and then she turns into her teen form, and then she turns into her uh, teen wearing less clothes form, and here's what she has. She has one quick, one, uh, one arts, and three buster. She has the looks of a buster gorilla, that's right. Her first skill? Physical strength of natural surroundings, A+, plus, increases own attack for three times, three turns, charges on NP gauge. 40% and 50% NP. Nice. Eight channels of surging waves B. The only thing that's negative here is three times three turns, so you only get it for three attacks. Uh, eight channels surging waves B. Increases on buster performance for three turns. Increase on defense for three turns. Gain some crit stars. The buster up is 30%, the defense is 30%, and the stars is 20. The third skill is Defiled Fingertips. Seals one enemy's NP for one turn, increases on crit damage for three turns. Increase on damage against the undead enemies for three turns, 50% crit and 50% up against the undead. Her passive skills are Magic Resistance A, Writing B+, Dragon Kind DX, Snake God's Essence A. And her pen skill is a bonus against rulers. There we go. And our Noble Phantasm is Buster, obviously. It's anti-army, anti-fortress, increase invincibility for one turn, deals damage that ignores defensive buffs to all enemies, and then reduce her res buster resistance for three turns. And that is her unit. Um, so here's the obvious thing. This was the problem with her. Uh, and it's always going to be a problem, because that's what's happening. The biggest issue here is that she's an AoE Saber that's following up Muramasa. And Muramasa's coming in the new year. And obviously Muramasa is the number one AoE Saber 
for arts specifically and for buster i think you're gonna have to wait till basically like uh you're gonna have to wait till anniversary <laughs> if you really want to take advantage of her i think she does end up being very good because a lot of that um a lot of the buster looping stuff is based around like having a unit that's actually able to loop they're charging their own mp gauge and she's able to do that so you need two specific units and then you'll be able to be good solid and you'll boom deal a lot of damage and you'll have a fun time but she isn't the most like outwardly like amazing like compare this to her summer version summer ibuki that's a different beast of an entire differently d different design i think this ibuki ends up being perfectly solid but it's not anything that's super jump worthy it's definitely one of those units that you will use and will be good but she's not going to stand out. And it's very unfortunate that they basically sandwiched her. <laughs> the, she had the, Basically, the next follow-up is Muramasa. And I feel Muramasa just completely screws up the scales for a lot of AoE sabers. Because so I feel like if I didn't know him, I would still say that this is a perfectly good unit. Like, if you took away all the things that you know about the future, I would say she's a very good unit. But unfortunately, Buster is dead. As far as we are concerned currently in here, Buster is more kind of like a meme. If you're doing Buster builds, it's because you love Buster and you're, damn it, you're, they're going to take this from you from your dead cold hands and I uh, appreciate that and I love you for it. But you have to own up to facts that the basic meta is either you're using arts or you're using quick. And if you're using Buster, then you're having a hell of a time trying. <laughs> that you can still do big, big, big damage for sure. There's always those videos of Berserker Kentucky doing the big damn, big dumb damage. But just in the current state of things, just looking at it and not looking to the future, it's a little bit different. And if you do look for the future, then it's like she gets much better because we know that those things are coming. Now here's the part where I have to say now we have to look into the future and realize that we're in a different state from what JP was, which is that we have pity now. Now the answer is, is Ibuki good enough to summon... If you know specifically the unit that you could buffer, you could be using those to potentially get her in the future and get the actual thing that will make her good. Because the worst thing you could imagine is spending a whole bunch on Ibuki, not getting her, or getting her, and then not being able to get the Tamamo that follows up with it, which is the support for Berserker that's coming for Anniversary. Hmm, that's a little something to think about, that's for sure. And obviously, if you're someone that's like, whatever, I already had everything saved for Ibuki, and I'm already getting her pity and shut up, then I say, fucking shine on, Diamond. I'm here to support you in that. If I had known that there would be pity at this time, I can tell you right now, I probably would have saved. <laughs> I would have saved a little bit more. I would have looked into it, but I didn't know. There was no way to know. So I'm kind of in a precarious situation where i have to think about how much do i actually want to spend on her because now i have to think about the future and the future is filled with a year that has stuff like obviously i'm going to be going summoning for morgan and i'm going to be summoning for tamamo and i'm going to be summoning for <laughs> oberon as well all dudes that i'm going to be summoning for on the future and all of them have something that they didn't have in the jp version which is pity and the potential to get pity on any one of those units is a frame of mind where it's like I don't have to worry about them anymore. At least for someone like me who saves. It's a completely different conversation now. And I'm still going to be summoning for Ibuki. I'm probably going to do at most three. I don't think I can put it outside of me out of three. Here's my general rule of thumb for anything. Three multis and you're good. If you don't have the unit in three multis, the game doesn't want to give you the, the unit. Just accept it and move on with your life and continue to save. If you're someone who's like, has the, all the money in the world and it's like, whatever, I'm getting her, then go for it. Get her. Get That's my thing. But I'm just like, ah, I don't think it's going to be possible to be doing any of that at the moment. But yeah. And then apparently she also has a costume, which you can see right here. Powerful. But yeah, I really like um, Abuki. So I'm still going to be going for her. But that's my specific opinion on it. If you're someone who's not a big fan of Ibuki, I think it's smarter for you to be saving at the moment. Because again, we're entering Muramasa at New Year's. Muramasa has not fucking shown up again on JP. Still. And we're almost two years later. They did not want to bring him back post-Pity. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> they sure fucking didn't want to bring him back once they had Pity. Um, we are going to be able to get him with Pity though. If that's something you want. And again, he has not shown up again in so many 
so long. You have to think about that going in there. So if you're if you're at a crossroads, I think it's time for you to make the hard decisions. I can't make them for you. All I can tell you is that these are the things you have to think about. And then I'm going to leave it to you to make the decision you want. I am always in the frame of mind that if you love a unit, the hell with what they do. Summon. And it doesn't, and to be honest with you, that's how I kind of feel about Ibuki. But I also have to think about the future and what about the other units that I also feel like that about. And yeah, it's tough. So, well, there you go. I hope that helped you in some way. That's Ibuki and that's Medea. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck if you do end up summoning. If you summoned for the Domen, aka everyone's favorite pervert asshole piece of shit. I hope you were able to get him, and I hope you were able to do fantastic, and you were able to get him without much issue, and you didn't have to pity him. Um, and if you're someone who did have to pity him, I'm glad you didn't have to spend like 2000 That's the best you can think about, is that at the end of the day, it sucks that you hit pity, but you have to also remember that before pity showed up, the answer to them saying like, hey, do you have 2000 cores? Because that might not be enough. But now the answer is, oh, you have 900. Here you go. Here's your domain. Now leave us be. That's better than nothing, I'll say right now. It's better than spending 2000 and getting jack shit. But anyway, I'm rambling on. It's the end of the video. Until next time, if they release a, a news on the Thanksgiving banner, I really don't think we're going to get a Thanksgiving banner this year because the pity changed it. Well, hey, if I'm wrong by next episode and I release a video saying, hey, it's Thanksgiving, I'll admit I'm wrong. But I really feel like with, the, with what pity is, the thanks bitter the thanksgiving banner has basically been gutted and the idea of having like multiple servants on a single rotating banner has kind of lost a lot of flavor but hey we'll see what happens till next time everyone you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye